it's just a constant phase, so let's just call it beta r. times sine this minus that, 2 pi ft minus 2 pi ft, 0, uh, 2 pi ft1 over c plus two, uh, minus 2 pi ft2 over c divided by 2 is pi f d1 minus d2 over c. Okay, this now looks exactly like I had in the example. Uh, it's just the cos and the sine are reversed. Is it two pi? Uh, no, it's not because I divide this by two and I divide this by two in, in the idea. Oh, yeah. This is equation three. Okay. D1 minus D2. What's D1 minus D2? No. Um, here's, so let me redraw the system. Figure 2, antenna, antenna, direct path, bounce path. This distance is D, this height is HT, this height is HR. So, um, this is D1. What's D1? So I can draw a right triangle here. See, the run is what? D. The rise is what? T minus HR. HR. So what's D1? D squared plus uh, HT minus HR plus D. Correct. D squared. So uh, the Pythagorean property D squared plus HT minus HR squared. Okay. D2. So uh, first looks like we have to figure out where this hit point is and then calculate both legs. Uh, but there's a trick. Can anyone see the trick? So it turns out if I extend this down to there, remember it's a reflection. So this will be the same length as that. So now I have the right triangle. What's the run? Run D. What's the height? Plus HR. D cubed is equal to root D squared plus D plus HR squared. So this taken together, these observations are figure two. And finally, D2 minus D1 is equal to what? Well, um, D2 minus D1 is equal to just substituting in. Um, excuse me, I want D1 minus D2, not D2 minus D1. It's just substituting in root D squared. Yes? D2? Well, this is a reflection. So it bounces off. It bounces off the uh, plane up there. So it turns out that this angle is equal to that angle, which is equal to that angle. And so it's as though the thing is passing straight through the plane and hitting an 
converted it and, and this link. I'll do the same with that. So it's like when you look in a mirror, you, it's uh, it sort of works that way. It's as though you're looking in a straight, in a straight line towards something, like your, your sight lines are exactly the same. Um, okay, d, d squared plus dt minus hr squared minus root d squared plus dt plus hr squared. I'm going to take out d squared. D root 1 plus HT plus HR over D squared minus D root 1 plus HT, what's that, HT minus HR over here? HT plus HR over D squared. And now I'm going to use an approximation when. Um, and this term is very, very small. Uh, the following approximation holds. So if epsilon goes to zero, then root one plus epsilon is approximately equal to one plus epsilon over two. And in our case, this term will be very small because HT minus HR is probably measured in a few meters, and the run between the two uh, antennas will be measured in probably hundreds of meters. Get, um, this is approximately equal to, let me take D out in front, approximately equal to D times this one I approximate as 1 plus 1 half uh, HD minus HR over D squared minus 1 minus 1 half. So this is a d squared. So I'm multiplying by the d here. That's a, a, a single d on the, on, in the denominator here, and a single d in the denominator here. So that's equal to 1 half ht minus hr squared divided by d minus 1 half ht plus hr squared divided by d. Expand the square, I get one half. So what I can do is I can say I can put all of this over 2d. 1 over 2d times expanding this, ht squared minus 2hthr plus hr squared. Expanding this, <laughs> I have minus <coughs> ht squared minus 2hthr. R squared. This cancels with this. This cancels with this. And I get minus 4 HTHR divided by 2D, which is minus 2 HTHR divided by D. So the approximate path length, if D is way larger than um, either antenna height, 